if you're like me and you live in England, I'm sure you've seen this all over Facebook recently of these climate change activists going onto motorways and just completely blocking the road. Well, wow. It's got a little bit more interesting this past week, but finally, the people are stepping up. Finally, everybody's getting pretty fucking pissed off with them. I thought in today's video, we could have a little look and just see the absolute tomfoolery that some of these people are doing. I I'm not even kidding. Some of them get so angry in this video and tear them off the road. Like, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. He just ripped my hand off the road. Yes, he's just ripped my hand off the road. Like, if I was to look back, there'd be half her hand still on the road there because he ripped it off. I think she means he pulled my hand off of the surface of the road. How dare he? So let me just quickly break down what is happening right now. We see a bunch of unemployed special people running over to block the motorway for people that actually have jobs and places to be. Now, I, this is completely ridiculous. I actually saw this guy was on This Morning, which is a TV show that we have in Britain in the morning. And one of his main things that he was really angry about people is that they don't have proper insulation in their lofts. For example, when you have your heating, all the heat just escapes. So people put their heating on for longer and they end up using way more energy than they actually need to. In the same interview, they asked him, okay, do you have insulation in your loft? My dude didn't even have that. Risk your life for Insulate Britain but you're not going to insulate your own home. Of talking to people in this country about Morgan. what we're doing. <laughs> you're doing a This peers. is <laughs> the state of things. Bye. Yeah, bye. All the stuff they are literally protesting against, they're all guilty of. It doesn't make any sense. How, how do you think they got here? They just all went on 20 mile walks. I don't think so. They probably took a car to get here. It makes no sense. of this is just insane it's like they're now angry at them for trying to use the road to drive on like now because someone's sat in the middle of the road use of roads has completely changed i've seen also a bunch of videos of these like people being pulled over and other people recording them asking them how do they think about all this like what, what do they think about this you've had people that have lost their jobs as a result of this talk to me about how you're feeling and the impact this has had on you today i've lost my job interview because of these lot yeah what was your job interview for for a skip driver oh, so hgv drivers on hgv just shortage of HGVs. Look at this lot. None of them work. They've all retired. And you had an interview this morning. I've lost it. I've been told I've lost it because I'm too late because of these. I'm and over you lost hour. the job. Yeah, I'm um, an hour late because of this lot. What does that mean for you and how are you feeling? I've got two young children. You're doing this for your kids. I, it's, I, I'm starting to think, guys, that uh, the reason they do this, it, it, it's not because they want everyone to be like a little Greta Thunberg. I, I, I think the reason is they also want these people to be unemployed like them is really what I'm getting from this video. God, shut up.
They're like little babies. They're so, they over exaggerate so much. It's like they're little kids again. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> He literally moved your hand off of the road. Uh, you're acting like he just fucking shot you. <laughs> oh, he just ripped my hand off the road. Uh, medic. <laughs> so that I've really come to like learn over making so many videos on activists like protesting and whatnot. They're, they're like the biggest babies I think any of us have ever seen. And the way they go about this is just ridiculous. Instead of making like informative like videos, maybe explaining why this is bad, like some people do. These people decide, no, 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 let's get, this will get through to the public. If we sit on the road and make them lose their jobs, then they're forced to talk about it. Oh, but, uh, but Blaze, at least now we're talking about it. No, no, we're not. We're not talking about the matters of climate change, are we? We're literally making videos or talking about how fucking annoying they are. Like, it's not the same thing at all. Oh, boys, it looks like the guy on the back just fucking turned on creative mode. Whee! I feel like a lot of these protests are just completely pointless. It just ends up wasting everybody's time instead of being formative or whatever. Like, no, nobody cares. Like, nobody learns anything. It just wastes everybody's time. Like, for what I see is they planned a whole day to do this. They drive their cars there, which is basically what these people are doing. So it's kind of, you see the contradictory. They sit on the road, have to then get the police to drive all their vehicles up here, which again, climate change, selfish. <laughs> they sit on the road for 20 minutes and then they get pulled off. Oh yes, another another successful day of being a protester. Wow, wow, we were very, very, very nice. Do they like go back to their board meeting at the end of this day and think like, yeah, successful day, guys, successful day. Well done, Jim. I saw you out there on the field today. Very good. You sat down for a whole 19 minutes. It's like whoever sits down for the longest and doesn't get pulled off actually wins a prize. But it's like a prize that, that's really bad with climate change. They, they win a they win a cruise ship. Yeah, anyway, boys and girls, uh, I just saw this the other day doing its rounds on the internet, and I, I just kind of wanted to share this with you. It's always entertaining when we see protesters. You know, honestly, that's all I really get from these videos. It's just people making themselves look silly. And it's kind of funny when you watch fully grown adults acting like children. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, boys and girls, hope you're having a great day. And uh, Papa Blaze, we'll, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I love you all. Bye bye, my children. H hugs and kisses. Bye bye.